This project being funded by the Chancellor's Innovation Fund is looking at a low-cost methods for improving the UV protection of textiles. Past year I've been in the tech program which is over the Poole College of Management and through that, that program we, we developed different ideas of how to commercialize the atomic layer deposition technology and one of the ideas that, that garnered a lot of interest was how to use the, the atomic layer deposition technology to protect textiles from, from sunlight damage. A lot of materials that are used outdoors include polyesters or nylons, and what we now would be able to use are things like cotton or polypropylene, much cheaper, uh, potentially more green materials. Well, the interesting thing about polymers is that their surface structure is really important to how they perform in a wide variety of applications. So things like textiles that you wear, the way that they work, the way they function, depends a lot on their properties of their surface. So what we're interested in doing is modifying the surface structure of that material to make it perform in a way that it wouldn't naturally perform. We use a vapor phase process to produce nano coatings on textiles. So for example, we can use this vapor phase process to produce nano coatings on each individual fiber that's within the fabric. That's again, nanoscale, it's very lightweight, and it's a low cost method for producing these UV coatings. Currently, there's not an option on the market which gives you long protection at a reasonable cost. So what we see is this, this technology has a potential to offer consumers a, a more lo low cost solution with long UV protection. Chancellor's Innovation Fund is designed to help us understand the basics. The basics are important for understanding this particular application of UV protection. But really what it's designed to do is help us understand so we can push it beyond that application to new and more versatile things that we could use the material for. You know, UV protection of polymers and textile materials is not a new problem. There's, there's a lot of other outside applications, such as uh, in energy or solar cells. There's a lot of polymers in those materials. So finding a way to solve this problem for textile materials has other applications for energy or space applications.